Hola! Hello! Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Today I'm going to be doing a dip. And so let me tell you what's going on with this. This is a 9 by 12 canvas. I'm going to set this aside while we talk about our work surface. What I've done is take a piece of foam core and I've put some sticky wrap on it. And what this is, it's a sheet of Glad Press and Seal. That's all it is. And that is sticky on one side. So I've stuck it to this board. Now you're wondering, why did I stick it to a board? Because if you just, you know, I have plastic covering my work surface, it's not going to actually stick to the other plastic very well. It kind of lets go. And even if it did, that plastic is going to want to lift up, whereas the board is rigid. So it's going to have a completely different effect lifting it if the thing you're lifting it off of is moving around or if the thing you're lifting it off of is flat. So that's why I like to use the board with the press and seal for these kind of dips. Now, what paints are we using? Everything is mixed with uh, a mixture of the pouring medium that I like to use, which is 50% Floetrol, 30% glue, and 20% water. These are my Amsterdam paints, primary cyan, primary magenta, primary yellow. This is some white that I've mixed with a little bit of silver. So you can see it's not as white. Uh, these are some mixed golds, a little bit of 24 karat gold, a little bit of Arteza gold, just a blend because I like that color. And our base coat is the reason that I'm doing this at all because I had used some uh, paints that I found in Mexico. And remember, paint pouring is part art, part chemistry. And so what your paints are made out of, what your pouring medium is made out of, does dictate the results that you're going to get. And this blend of paints and pouring mediums did not give me the results that I want. But now I have this cup of it, and I thought it would make a fabulous base for a dip. So this is my black, and I had the paints that I scraped into a cup from a previous pour. They turned kind of gray, and there were some metallics in there, so I've mixed it all together in a cup. And that's going to be our base. So I'm just going to move our paints over, pour our base down, and see how much fun we can have with this dip. Here we go. I've put some lines so that I can see exactly how far this paint needs to go to the edges so that it covers our whole canvas. Hopefully it's enough. It looks like it is. I think we're going to be okay once it's spread out because we are going to be adding the other paints on top. Now, it would have been better if I had painted this canvas in advance, but I didn't. So, if there's any little white spots left or anything, we'll just use the leftover paint in the cup and fill them in. So I'm just going to smooth this around. You can see the little lines that I've put to give us our guideline for our paint. And some people will say, and I know there's going to be comments, they'll say, why didn't you just, you know, dip two canvases? Well, I just want to dip one today. That's all. And I want to see whether we can use this paint instead of tossing this paint. And this will be good. Plus, I really don't think there's enough black paint to do two properly. So rather than using up another canvas, we'll just use this. We'll just do one. One is good. Sometimes less is more. And I think in this case, less is more. Just one. And I'm not going to worry about the air bubbles that are in there. Those are going to be gone the second we dip. So I kind of have an idea for how I want the pattern to come out on here. So we're going to do an arc of color. Just a little arc with all the colors. I may put some gold down in our little arc here. And we're just going to drizzle all of the colors 
in this one area, just over top of each other. And then I might fill in a little bit here too. Why not? Let's do that. Let's get a bit of the yellow in here as well. Let's do a smile. Oh, maybe we'll call this one smile. We'll do a little smile of color. There we go, a smile of color. Look at that happy face. Get a bit of our white in here. Looks like a smile to me. It probably looks like a frown to you guys. <laughs> but I won't turn the video upside down. I did that once. And it's almost like you can tell exactly what perspective it was shot at. And a girl said, turn the video around, you're making me dizzy. And I'm going, yeah, you know what? I'm kind of glad that she said that because it was making me dizzy too. So you're looking at a frown and I'm looking at a smiley face. I'll put a bit more paint. I actually want a lot on here. I'm hoping that it will kind of drizzle down a bit when we lift it. So if there's extra, that can happen. If there's not enough, it won't. A bit more blue. And because we've used the primary colors, we're kind of hoping there might be a little rainbow effect as well. Let's hope. A bit more of our white. And I think we're ready to go. I'm just going to blend in these little spots here. Not necessary. All right, we'll grab our canvas, dip it right into this paint. One, two, three, tip. Looking good. You can see there's very little wasted paint around the edges. And we'll put a little bit of pressure on the back. Try and make sure that there's no air pockets in there. And if you can, doing it from two directions is helpful. And I might go over it just one more time. And here we go, getting ready. We're going to lift this way. One, two, three. Ah, it didn't work. I'm putting it back down. Ah, you know why it didn't work? Because my board moved. Because this is the first time I've done this on this surface and it moved. So I'm going to get my trusty helper, Dave. Dave, can you come over, please? Dave is going to help me with this. He's going to actually hold that board down a bit. This one? While I lift. Can you hold there? Excuse Dave's arms. Here we go. One, two, three. And we have a little bit that didn't work. But overall... Looks kind of groovy, doesn't it? So I'm just going to put this down right in the puddle. And I'm going to grab some of this black paint and just fill it in. Oh, like magic. Just like magic, the part that didn't dip is all good. Now, do we like it is question number two. This way. Hmm? Turn it around. I will turn it around. Um, Actually, so, the way they have it is the way. Yes, I was just going to say, Dave said turn it around. I said, no, I think the perspective that you guys see on the camera right now is the way that this should look, because that's kind of the way that it was planned. I think it may need a bit more color, but I think I may add that color on an embellishment. I don't know if I want to dip this again. Oh, look what that white did. I think I do want to dip it again. 
I think I might dip it again. I'm just going to set it over here. I'm going to add a bit more color. And I think I want to dip it again. Just a wee bit more. And I'm going to leave out the white this time. Do I want to leave out the white? I think I do. I'm going to dip it one more time. And at least we know all the black is on there. No worries there. Here we go. One, two, three. And I'm not worried about the lift this time. Ooh, interesting. We've got a little nebula going right there. That looks like a tiny little nebula. At first I thought I didn't like it there, and I kind of think that I do like it there, actually. You know what it is? No, come and see. It's completely different. I dipped it again. See that? It's the uh, fire angel from Star Trek. <laughs> Dave says it's the fire angel from Star Trek Discovery. I love what Dave sees. He's not 100% wrong, though. If you guys haven't seen Star Trek Discovery, I recommend it. It was a really, really cool show. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Um, yeah, so look at this cluster of gold and more cluster of gold. Here, that's the thinned out gold. And I would say that was 24 karat gold mixed with Arteza gold. And I really like those two together. That's really interesting. Okay, I think it's done. I like it. I like it a lot. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's dry. I'm going to look at it from your perspective because you're seeing the good stuff. All right, that looks great. All right, we'll be, we will show you a dried one at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping us use up our base coat that we're never using again. But boy, was it ever worth the effort to do this. I love it. Thanks for watching. Go paint something beautiful. Have some fun. Experiment with your paints. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.